what's up family welcome to a new episode of air it out it's your man rob right back here with my brother your boy dre that y'all see me you know what i'm saying bringing you a new episode of air it out the show where we tackle all them good issues all the good topics you know what i'm saying bringing some real talk and we just air it out real talk to real people if you're a fake person you wouldn't understand <laughs> Pay attention, you might learn something. You might learn something. We got a nice episode today for you, ladies and gentlemen. You know what I'm saying? Especially for my ladies. I know you're probably going to be really feeling this one. Uh, but also, my fellas, you know what I'm saying? You definitely going to be feeling this one as well. We're going to be talking about creepy ass people. Thirsty ass people. You know what I'm saying? The stalking ass people. You know what I'm talking about. Ladies, y'all know what we're talking about. Anybody remember episode one? You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. The pilot, baby. We talked about how ladies, y'all get hollered at 10, 20 times a day. Because every woman in there, ever since you was 13, every guy you met's been trying to fuck you. Yeah. That's right. Women are offered dick every day. Every woman in here gets offered dick at least three times a week. Three times a day, shit. Even the ugliest female gets hollered at at least two, three times a day. Two, three times. It comes with the territory. You know, but you got them creeps that holler at you. How about no means yes and yes means no? I don't know what the fuck going on. Call the police. <laughs> I'm calling the police. <laughs> People are some creeps, but the thing is you got to control your inner creep, man. You know what I'm saying? Everybody got a little creep. So everybody got an inner oh, creep. Oh, yeah. And she walk in thick as hell. You looking at her like, but are you going to say, well, damn. It's a whole lot of cushion in that booger. Would your father a meat burglar because it looked like somebody stole two fine hams and shoved them down the back of your dress? Now you creepy. But yeah, because the first thing that comes out of your mouth is what you're thinking usually. That's why motherfuckers say thank before you speak. So if she asks you a question like that and you just want to blurt out something first thing in mind, mind you that the first thing on your mind going to be, oh, 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 it, your mirror jeans? Cause I could see myself in them. You know what I'm saying? You gonna be a creep. You know what I'm saying? So, thank you for you talk from your boy Dre. Man, you know, there's some creepy ass ladies out there. Just being real, I know that might sound funny coming from a dude that look like me. I ain't the best looking cat. I ain't the worst looking cat. You know what I'm saying? But hey, there's some creepy ass ladies out here. You know what I'm saying? Like some females is like you just supposed to holler at them. I'm twerking, I'm twerking, I'm twerking, I'm twerking, I'm twerking, I'm twerking, oh, 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 oh no, what you talking about? <laughs> hey, <laughs> we added out, man, today. Stop it. Stop it. Yeah, so, you know, we can definitely go a day and a year on creeps and stalkers, you know what I'm saying? But, uh, moving right along. To the know, biggest creep. <laughs> yeah, really. This, I got, so you know what, creep. I can't even call this guy a creep. This is a scoundrel. He's somebody that should be prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law, in my opinion. But I'm going to throw it out here real quick for the family, you know, to, to formulate your own opinion. You know what I mean? Uh, but the latest update uh, about Renisha McBride, 19-year-old woman in, in uh, Detroit that was murdered, in my opinion, you know, but that was murdered. shot uh, on the porch in a suburb in a suburb in Detroit. So, uh, again, for those who don't may know, uh, Nisha McBride, uh, she basically uh, had car trouble, car stopped on her, uh, you know, and she was going from door to door seeking help. She went on this, uh, on the doorstep of this particular homeowner, and what happens next ain't really clear, but the fact is that 
she was fatally shot in the face by Theodore Wafer on his porch. On his porch. Now, is it an issue of race? Yes. And and you know how Eric Alshow is. It, it's a lot of issues. But this is my main issue that I, and this is the update I want to provide, and this is my main issue with the whole thing. Okay, like I say, as far as you know, this young lady, you know, was stranded early in the a.m., you know, and she was going wherever she was at, the neighborhood she was at, she was going from door to door, knocking on doors, seeking help. She knocked on this door, you know, and this guy claimed that he felt like he was in danger or whatever, he shot her in the face. You know, but this is a 19-year-old girl, all right here. You know what I mean? Like, and not to sound sexist or nothing, but I don't think she was too threatening, especially if she done knocked on your door. You talking through her between the door. Right. There was no sign of forced entry whatsoever. There was no sign that she didn't kicked on the door. There was no sign that she broke his screen door. No sign like that. So why do you need to shoot a young woman in the face with a shotgun? Just he think was about scared it. For his life. And regardless of she was black and he was white, just think about that America. Real talk is that uh, there's going to be a lot of so-called homeowners slash you know going to work white collar, blue collar guys with guns. They ain't never got in trouble all their life. That ain't did this all their life. And and the reason for that because they wasn't out there selling drugs. They wasn't out there and living in poverty or something. So they don't have the whole ticket of um, hmm. a felon. Because what they doing is much worse than what you would ever expect. And then, you know, to my black people, I know everybody got their opinions and I love you for it. But uh, we not just airing this out and forgetting about all the innocent people that get killed in the hood. Anybody, if you really follow me on Facebook and know me, you know what I'm saying, know me in real life, you know I'm about unity. All these things, Trayvon Martin things, you know what I'm saying? This young woman's death. This should make us come together and stop knocking each other off. Stop killing each other, especially over this petty bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. For real, for real. All you niggas run around, I don't even mean to say niggas, but all you ninjas run around here talking about you folks, you stone, you lord, you don't even know where it came from. But y'all killing, you, if you really knew where all of these, these gangs, these organizations started from, they started from protecting the neighborhood. Our purpose is to protect our women. We protect our women, we protect our race. Simple as that. And they wouldn't be able to do shit like this. To the family of Miss McBride, man. Air it out, show you got our deepest sympathy. We want to trust this. You know what I'm saying? For real. But in order to really get justice and get prevention, we need more unity, black people. Moving on. For most people that they think about Black Friday now, that's the day or that's the Friday after Thanksgiving when everything, pretty much any type of merchandise, especially technology, any type of merchandise, beds, technology, you know what I'm saying, appliances, shit, cars, damn it, everything is half price for little or nothing. But, uh, you know. I'm, I'm sister, you know, I'm gonna just take a back seat for him. Please, cause, cause I think sometimes people might get tired of hearing me. You know, I know y'all got love for me, but you know, I can go off the handle and hand just. I'm, I'm gonna sit, let, I'm gonna let, you know, one of my illustrious sisters let y'all know, in case you don't know, what Black Friday really well, comes from. Oh, brother, here, well, well, Black Friday is rooted in racism. If, no, if, if the people don't understand that, it's because they haven't been taught that, you know. But but tonight, maybe we could just give them a quick synopsis of that. Maybe. Black Friday, mm -hmm. the, the, the thing about Black Friday, it comes from one thing. It comes from them selling you. They're, Black Friday was a day when every Englishman, Scotsman, Portuguese, Spaniel, it didn't matter. They would come down for the holiday. You know, and she eat out on the plantation with their family members and everything and feast. And he was, you know, hey, throw this at the slave, throw that at the slave. But they were really there for that day after because they knew they were going to have this big bargain that day. Mm -hmm. And that bargain.
Mm. Put you in the mm. ocean block. Mm. <laughs> yeah, look, they 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 set you up on they you the best buy you the main target and then you ass somewhere in the Walmart. <laughs> you, hear you hear me? It's crazy out there. Thanksgiving. Happy Black Friday.